Hello and welcome to Databricks Classroom. My name's Mark and today I'll be explaining cloud consumption models. Uh, I think everybody realises the cost benefits of moving to a cloud model, uh, moving away from capital expenditure to operational expenditure. And obviously cloud models allow for a much more tight cost spending over actual utilisation. But not many people realise that there are more than one way of actually consuming infrastructure as a service and how you pay for it. Um, we're going to have a look at a couple of the, the common models. So there are two main groups, there's instance-based modelling and pool-based modelling. And the main difference between the two is instance-based modelling is per virtual machine or virtual server that you have within the cloud environment. And pool-based modelling is based upon aggregated workloads across multiple virtual machines. So if we look at the instance-based model first, an instance-based model is based upon an individual virtual machine. Um, and you pay for resources on a virtual machine by virtual machine basis. Now, with a, uh, a pay-as-you-go or unreserved model, that's a, a consumption model where you pay per unit over time. So a cost per gigahertz, cost per gigabyte, cost per um, IOP. And if we take the instance model first, um, with an unreserved instance, um, it's normally used for short-term development implementations where um, developers can spin up virtual machines and pay for them on a time basis over a short period of time and then turn them off and not pay for them anymore. Um, but this isn't normally effective for um, back office systems which run over a, a much longer period of time. And obviously there's also a fluctuation in the cost associated with a non-reserved model. With the reserved instance model, um, you actually pay for the resources for each of those virtual machines and reserve those for that particular machine, which gives you uh, an SLA on that um, particular server. But it also means that you have a fixed cost as well. So that means it's much more suited to back office systems on a small scale. Um, but there's a certain point where uh, instance-based modelling doesn't work effectively and that's when you move to pool-based modelling. So after a certain number of virtual machines, pool-based modelling works more effective. And pools basically aggregate uh, storage and CPU and memory and allow for all of your individual virtual machines to aggregate their workloads across that pool so you can get better utilisation uh, than the instance model. So obviously on a non-reserved model, you provision your virtual machines and again pay for it on a consumption-based uh, time model, um, which again is better for uh, larger scale, uh, short-term development type uh, implementations. But then what you can do is obviously go to the reservation model and the reservation model can be set at any percentage that you want of your allocated per virtual machine. So you can effectively have it at 90% of your totally allocated um, resources, or even at 50%, which gives you a fixed cost for your infrastructure. And that's aggregated across all of your servers. And the rest of the time, you can pay on a pay-as-you-go model. And that allows you to get the resources that you want for your normal business hours at a fixed cost, and for the unknown um, resource utilisation periods, pay for it on a consumption-based time model.